yo 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 what's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel today we are playing a brand new fun exciting game and it's called pet fighting simulator now the title is very familiar to you know other things that we already played the style the concept of the game is very similar to everything we already played but this game has a uniqueness about it, and I'm going to tell you why it's very unique. Now, before we get into that, please smash the like button on this video. We're shooting for five likes. Subscribe to the channel right now if you guys are new, and also comment down below if you played the game before. What is your status? Do you need a pet in the game? Let me know in the comment section. So in the game's description, it says here, Welcome to Pet Fighting Simulator. Embark on a journey with your pets and crush all enemies on your way. You fight enemies with your pets to earn coins. You hatch new pets to get stronger. You can also use weapons to increase your damage done to the enemies in map. And it also says here to unlock new areas with unseen enemies. So this is a uh, update 0 0.2 because the game is brand new you know what i mean so it just released the other day i was here for it and i made my first video and what happened was the file was way too long to render and download so now i'm here for my second video so i basically got to get you, you know get you caught up to what i did in the first video um portal areas the aqua world has been added elements and enchantments auto deleting features they improve the pet upgrader two new achievements better console support weapon storage enemies as pets collection and bug fixes all right Huge shout outs to the developing team by the way because i really love this game i gotta be honest with you guys First of all, let me get <laughs> let me get over here so he can get out of my screenshot because I mean look at look at how fresh I look with this outfit on. Nobody comment about my chain, all right? It's attached to my shirt, but <laughs> from a distance it looks real. All right, anyway. So look at the uniqueness already. Look at these pets. It's called a pet fighting simulator game, and automatically you see this setup here. You're thinking in your head. You see the city buildings. Oh my God, this is Pet Simulator X. And while I may agree with you, but this is like a low poly version of Pet Simulator X. Like no offense to the developing team and the people that created the map and stuff like that, but you do see the similarities with the style of the buildings and the setup of the field of grass and everything like that, the mountain ranges here. Um, but one thing about it, like I mentioned, is that it's low poly. It's not a high end type of build. So this is something that, you know, while it could have took, you know, preferably a couple of weeks to a month to make this, you know, it, it, it kind of looks like, you know, it was rushed because it's low poly. But anyway, um, first and foremost, the thing that I want to point out is that the pets are unique because they're not little squared boxes. They're full scaled model pets. And of course, you can see um, right above their heads here, there are tiers of pets that they are. They're common, they're rare, majestic. You got legendary, mythical, secret pets if they add secret pets to the game, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, let's talk about the egg situation over here. So the eggs here correspond to the zones that you guys will be unlocking in the game. So for this first zone, you have just one egg. That's it. For the second zone, one egg. For the third zone, one egg. For the fourth zone, one egg. And then we go on and on and on and on and on. Over here, you have your global leaderboards and then you have your server leaderboards as well. Um, over here, there is a billboard in which this is, you know, actively updating itself. Every time they reach a certain light goal, they will reveal a code. And as you guys just saw, someone liked the game already. So it went up, which was pretty cool. Then over here, you have the game passes. And this is um, some of the game passes that they currently have on display here. So these are probably like the most important to everyone. And that's probably why they, you know, they emphasized it here by putting it, you know, very, very large here on top of this grass. So teleporting, you know what that is. Teleport to anywhere in the map. Plus six pets equipped, giving you guys more strength, 
that's awesome. And then the ability to triple hatch is always, you know, elements that is needed in simulator games. But often what happens is developers always make you pay for these features instead of just giving it to you. But, you know, you can't argue with them because they got to make something off of their games. So um, over here, you have your daily rewards chest. You guys can claim this every 24 hours. You have a VIP chest if you're on VIP. And then the group reward chest for those that are a part of the group. Over here, this is another unique factor. You have the pet index the enemy index, and then you have the ranking index. They created indexes for literally everything in the game, which is very, very awesome. So over here, there is a total of 51 pets in the game, and I have discovered 14 out of 51. So I'm making progress. Um, over here, enemies. Basically, where you discover zones is where you're going to be discovering your enemies. So whatever your progress is, that's how you know where you discover a new enemy. So right now, I'm only at the fourth zone. So there's four enemies here that I discovered. The Cyclops, the Flower, the Ghost, and then you have over here the Muscle Eye. Now, the ranks here are you know pretty decent. Um, you can earn ranks just by attacking the enemies, you know, just by dealing damage and everything like that. And it goes up fairly. And as you guys can see over here, um, you start off the game at a noobish level. You're like a novice, and then you start to progress through the game. So right now, I'm at the battler right here. So I got 1.1 million in uh, XP. All right, so now let's talk about the pets here, and we're also going to talk about the setup here that's um, on the left-hand side of your screen. So over here, you notice you have weapons, and you may notice I have a sword in my hand. When you guys destroy the enemies in the map, they not only just drop your currency, they also drop weapons at random. So you can pick up a weapon, and the weapon can be used to help destroy the enemies. So if you just click on this little sword right here, he can swing. If you have an auto clicker installed on your PC or even on your mobile device, you can turn on your auto clicker and they auto swing just like that. Now you can also point to an enemy. And as you guys can see the paw print here, once you click just like that, you can send your pet team to that enemy and have them destroy it. Boom, take it out. And then look, they dropped the currency right there. You got coins and then you have gems. That's really, really simple, really, really cool. Another interesting factor about the game itself is that they categorize the enemies in different groups here. So over here, you have all of the weak flowers. These all have like five HP. And notice when you walk past them, they look at you. This is kind of like a feature from, uh, what's that game? Um, like Super Mario, if you ever went to like the castle and you notice that like the little skeletons, when you walk past them, they will look at you and stuff like that. Yeah, this is exactly where I think they got that little, you know, inspiration to add to their game because this is really cool. So look, this group over here, they have five HP. And then this group over here, they have 50 HP. And then you have this group over here with 100 HP and they are bigger than the other ones over there. And then you have over here um, 25 as well. I can't believe I skipped them. So that's really, really cool. A little interesting fact about the game. All right. So over here you have your uh, pet inventory. And as you guys can see, during the making of this video right now, this is um, your settings of how many pets you guys can actually hold. So you have 30 for your storage. And then you have three pets that you can actually equip. Both options come with Robux. You can um, increase the amount that you want to equip and also the amount that you want to be able to hold in your inventory. The game does offer free pet trading. So if you guys really are considering playing the game, I can grind some pets and, you know, do giveaways and stuff like that in Discord server. Or I can, you know, set up live streams and do that. But you guys have to be on board with the idea because if you are not, I'm not going to do it, basically. 
Now, I do randomly give things away when I'm in server. If someone acts nicely or if someone just started the game and they want to kickstart, I will give you guys a pet. So I don't have a problem with sharing what I come across. Um, some of these pets in here are actually very interesting. We hatched some legendaries, guys. <laughs> Pretty insane. So we have over here the legendary parrot. We have the legendary camel. And we have... Um, we have a majestic, what is it? Um, the turtle. Okay, so this guy is already, <laughs> look, look, look at this prime example. So we're going to go ahead and give this guy the spider. Look, he has that one little, the little attack dog right there it has one damage. So we're going to go ahead and give him that spider. And he canceled the trade. I don't know why he canceled it. He's jumping up and down though. He's clearly like a fan or something. I was giving you the pet for free, bro. Anyway. <laughs> um but yeah as i was saying we have uh <laughs> yeah he's he's a fan what's up man <laughs> so yeah as i was saying we have um we have the one majestic in here and that is this chicken here so um you can see like all the different rarities of the pets and everything like that you can also see their names and you can also rename them as well now, there is a foot symbol underneath them. I don't know exactly what the foot symbol is, but you can also see um, their uh, damage done, and then you can see the amount of gems that they produce. So um, right now, the game, you know, as I mentioned again, it just came out. So there's going to be things that need to be adjusted, like the amount of gems dropped is really not enough. And I discovered that, you know, I'm in zone four and there is these like two new areas that require the opening with gems. So I don't have enough for those two areas. While I can simply just buy them with Robux, you know, not everyone is entitled to, you know, to do that. You know what I'm saying? Not everyone has the capabilities to, you know, just buy their way through the game. So, yeah, they got to increase the amount of gems dropped or something like that. Um, there is a game pass for a double the gems right there that I'm kind of looking at, but it's a little pricey. $3.99 is a bit much. I would lower it down to $150 if that were me. Um, over here, you have your achievements. So, as you guys see, um, these are similar to Pet Simulator X, but... Um, they're a little bit different here. So you got uh, different types of rewards here, whether it's coins or gems. Um, okay, another person is trading me. I'm going to go ahead and give them that. Oh, nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, do, don't load me up with all. <laughs> Jesus. He loaded me up with all of this just to take this one spider over here. All right. We welcome six new trash pets to the inventory. <laughs> all right so um let's go over to the uh shopping cart here so as you guys can see we can instantly purchase gems in the game we can instantly purchase coins as well we can purchase boost for two times the coins two times the gems experience weapon damage in which you might not need weapon damage it depends on where you are basically um pet damage walking speed magnet abilities luck and then there's mana over here so this is like a new currency um and then you have a uh, pet experience you could instantly buy that as well um the game passes here include all of these that you can see here so there's quite a few now i will say that you know the ones that are on the grass are basically the main ones that you guys should start off with first. Now, me personally, I don't own any game passes as of yet, but I'm getting it. I'm getting it. <laughs> you know, by the time I make the next video, you guys might see me with a couple game passes. Um, so over here, if you click this boost button, this is where all of your boosts lie inside of this, you know, convenient space. You can click to use your boost and you can also delete boost. I don't know why they added the delete button to it, but I had a coin boost for 1.25 i think it was 1.25 times the the coins for like 20 minutes which is not much but it did come in handy and 
it, there was a delete button. I was just like blown away. Like, why is that a thing? You know, that's something unique because you don't see that mostly when it comes down to boost. Usually you don't have an option to delete them. You have no other choice but to use them. Then over here, you have the teleport. Now you can unlock all of the areas instantly in the game just by using Robux. And it's going to cost you guys 349 um, but also you can unlock them in the game just by using the, uh, coins that you guys earned in the game so far. So over here, um, you have the categorization of the worlds and the different zones, basically. So you have regular worlds here, and then you have the elemental worlds, and then you have all the breakdowns of the zones in there. And the, the game is going to, you know, be progressing even more and more as we get into you know this uh, new month that we're approaching because may is almost done then over here we have the settings you can uh play around with a few things here and there and of course you can enter codes in here as well so just to get you guys started with a code you guys can enter the code gem day in all capital letters that's going to give you guys 10 gems it's not much but it's something that'll help you guys you know um, but yeah, if you wanted to turn your trading off, you can turn it off. You can set it on to all friends and then you can just disable it like that. And then over here you have the over the head UI. If you want to take off the titles and stuff like that, you know, just keep it clean. Just like that. You can do that. Sometimes YouTubers want to use that sort of feature for their videos. So, you know, you can do that. Um, then you have the uh, pet sending feature in your settings. You can go ahead and put it on to all of your pets attacking. And then you can also turn it off as well. And then auto pets equip. So this is when you're hatching the egg instantly. If you're hatching, you can instantly equip them. Or you can just leave that off and just, you know, go through your pet inventory and choose what you want to have equipped. Now, there is actually an equip best button here, but there's no unequip all button. So you will still have to manually do this just like that to unequip your pets and then just click them again just to, you know, re-equip them. All right. And then this is the trade button here. Another unique feature is with the trade button, you can actually see the players that are here in the server. So, you know me, I'm very judgmental. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This bacon dude, I probably wouldn't want to trade him, you know, because he could be secretly a pro player playing on an alt account, or he could be like a scammer. You know, bacon activity, you always have to be on high alert. But yeah, you could get to see the images of their avatars and you can see their names. So just in case somebody were to scam you and everything like that, all you got to do is quickly you know, quickly, excuse me, just take a little screenshot right there. You got the images of the players here and their names. So you know exactly what they look like when you need to track them down and expose them. Now, let me go over here and teleport to, um, let's teleport to the town area. So this is the town and we just teleported nowhere. <laughs> we do have a decent walking speed. So, um, that's pretty cool. And then, you know, People were expecting them to like add, I guess, uh, some type of hoverboard or maybe a skateboard in here because it is very Pet Simulator X similarities, you know, close in similarities. But um, honestly, I don't think we need one. Like, yes, this game is going to go further and further back into the map. But honestly, I don't think we need one as of yet. Unless you want to go that direction, then, you know, just give us something different. You don't got to give us a hoverboard or a skateboard. You know, give us a car. You know, have us hop in a convertible or something. That'll be kind of cool. The top down. All right. <laughs> so here we are at the desert area. And look at the monster eyeballs. They're literally watching you and going back and forth. They move and then they get bigger. <laughs> so you have the 450 HPs over here. Then you have these guys over here in like a little cage area, 200, no, this is 900 HP. And then the strongest over here, 1.35K. And they just both turned around and watched me. That was creepy. Now here's another interesting machine, Pet Upgrader. So as you guys know, from time to time in Pet Simulator X and a bunch of other Pet Simulator related games, you know, Pet Legends, 
Um, there's there's pets in the game that basically you hatch and you equip them for some time and then they become useless and you have to end up either deleting them or giving them to new players that are just now starting out the game. With this game here, if you use the pet upgrader, you don't have to get rid of any pet that you actually want to keep. So, for example, if you start off the game and you start off the game with these little cute pets here, you have the little tortoise, you have the little uh, like the little bulldog thing, the little cat, the little pig. Let's say you start off the game with one of those starter pets and you want to keep those starter pets forever, depending on the pet models and, you know, the texture and everything like that. If you're a person that pays close attention to detail and you happen to like what you see, you want to keep it forever. In this game, you could go to the pet upgrader, select the pet that you want to upgrade, and you can continuously upgrade him, making him stronger and stronger over time. So to better explain that, you don't always have to hatch the new pet from the new egg from the new zone. You can stick with the same previous pet that you guys already had and continue to upgrade it more and more and more. Now, with recent, you know, trades that I got in the game, people just randomly gave me pets that they, you know, they actually, um, they upgraded super to the max. So, let me show you guys. We have this common dragon here, 797,000 on its damage. And then, before I started recording, some guy gave me this rare dinosaur, 1.32 million on its damage. So, now... I can just one shot everything and just keep going to the next area until things start to get tougher. So to show you like a little prime example, we go over here, we could just one shot these guys. Boom, just like that. Just one shot them. All right, so there goes the bacon dude back there. Not trying to work, he just wants to receive free handouts. Over here, you got um, a grouping of ghosts. So we can just go ahead and destroy this whole little quadrant here. <laughs> just take them out. Boom. Just like that. And like I said, you have the sword with you as well. You can use the sword and you discover weapons by destroying the enemies. But it's not always a guarantee given. As you saw, I destroyed all four of those and there was no weapon drop. So it's not a guarantee. It's just randomized, but if you do happen to get uh, a weapon drop, you know, kudos to you because you're going to be dealing more damage to your enemies as they start to get stronger. But I will tell you for the first zone and for also the first world, I don't think you really need a weapon. The pets itself are just doing great damage. Now, here is something that I was telling you guys about with the uh, gem situation. So, here's an area that I didn't know existed in the game. This little side area. Now, to unlock it is going to cost 200 gems, and I currently only have 54. And there is more areas just like that one here. Okay, so look at these giant ghosts. 16k. It's no biggie for my team. <laughs> it's no biggie for my team. Look at that. It's no biggie. Now, when you're using your sword, just make sure, like, when you turn on your auto clicker, just have it turned on, but also don't have it pointing next to the uh, next to the enemy that you're trying to take out. And the reason why I say this is because when you have your cursor point here, you can see that this is, you know, basically like the little go ahead to send your team to that enemy. So this is what will happen if you turn on your auto clicker while you're trying to send your team. See that? You're sending your team at the same exact time you're trying to swing your sword. So it it pretty much negates the process. So make sure you just, you know, if you're going to turn on your sword, just do this and walk next to it. See that? Now I'm just dealing damage with the sword instead of using the, the you know, the, the squad of, you know, pets that I have.
And it's no, it's no problem. You don't necessarily have to, you know, do that. Okay, we just found two swords there. See? You don't necessarily have to, you know, choose between what you want. You know what I mean? You have an option. You can go all sword or you can just go all pets. Okay, we got the little minions over here, a.k.a. the Cyclops. <laughs> Yo, these are so well made, and it's it's just really something that needs more attention in this game. So hopefully more YouTubers come in here and, you know, play the game. I saw Russo's video. He did an excellent job recording and, you know, just having fun with it. So hopefully you guys all, you know, have the same reaction that you guys had on his video with mine. Um, so here is your weapon inventory and you can see the weapons that you guys get in this game and you can also see the damage. So right now the best thing that we have equipped is the Techno Sword. It has 875 on the damage. And then we have discovered over here a Ruby Hammer in which we have not yet equipped and I don't know why. Um, and then we have over here the techno daggers that you guys just saw me pick up. So if we equip our best, there we go. We now have the ruby hammer equipped, and that looks awesome. You can see the little ruby piece in the middle. I feel like Thor. <laughs> I'm feeling like Thor. So now our power is increased even more than it was before. But look at that. We can still just one shot with our team because we have a dino with 1 million damage. Now, um, if you guys are, you know, like feeling kind of skeptical with trading in the game, they also have their own Discord server where they actually have a channel for uh, trading in there as well. But me personally, I would like to do things, you know, front to face, basically. Like me in a game with you instead of like doing these whole you know, cross-trading and Discord server. But I'm just putting the idea out there just in case you guys want to join the Discord server. They do have a channel for trading. People are selling pets in there. And um, I don't know how you would sell pets in this game. Like, what what would you have to, you know, trade? Because I'm not entirely sure if you can trade currencies in the game. But then again, I could be wrong. You know, I just started the game out, and I could be wrong. You could be possibly trading gems or something for a pet so you know you never know i'll find out for you guys of course though all right so this next area is going to cost me 2.2 million in coins jesus that's a lot but i'm currently at 814 so i'm doing pretty well you know i'm doing pretty well um i could use another boost for coins but i think I should be, you know, I should be making a pretty decent amount. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Okay. <laughs> More people are coming in here. Someone just asked for me. But yes, I am here. I'm recording. And usually when I'm recording, I don't, you know, open up chat and stuff like that. But I tell you guys all the time, it's, you know, I'm not disrespecting you or anything like that. It's just... I am the type to actually talk in my videos. I don't type out the words that I'm saying here in the chat, you know? No offense to anybody that does that. I'm just saying, you know, that's how I operate my situation. All right, so we're at 1.2. So all we need is one mil more. Um, we can go ahead and let's see. We can get ourselves a boost here, I believe. Um, let's see. What are we going to get? Two times the coins. Let's just go ahead and get that. My little contribution to the game. <laughs> and there it is. Then we go to the boost inventory. And as I, it, you know, as I mentioned there, we got the use button and then also the delete button. So make sure you don't delete anything that you just bought with Robux. All right. So now once we grind this, uh, this area here a little bit more. We shall be um, opening up this area within no time. Now, I haven't yet discovered any way to like auto farm the game. So look at that. We're receiving like 15,000, 12,000 to pick up. 
before it was like around like eight or nine. So yeah, <laughs> look at how fast we are earning those coins already, guys. But yeah, as I was saying, I don't know if there's like a official way to auto farm because like you saw the uh, purpose of, you know, you guys using your auto clicker is to not actually have it auto clicking on the target here. So see, it does that. And that's not doing any damage or attacking it. That's just sending and then, you know, <laughs> sending it forward and then sending it back. So that's not really doing anything. So um, whenever I do discover like a way you guys can auto farm, I'll, you know, come back and let you guys know in the next video or so. <laughs> My Instagram is popping off, guys. <laughs> Just in case you guys haven't already done so, make sure to go follow my Instagram. It is BarryWhite149 underscore YouTube. Literally the word YouTube. Um, as I told you guys the story with the situation the first time, they flagged me at 3,000 followers. They removed my page. They gave me some bullshit type of email. And they stated that, you know, there were like, you know, content that was not you know i guess suitable or whatever but basically it was just you know i was using copyrighted music at the time i was uploading you know videos of you know like little snippets of like trailers from movies tv shows i would upload music music that i was working on personally some music of my friends and everything like that and this was around a time where like copyrights just came out as something that is offensive for everyone you know so now that has a massive you know effect on everybody that's posting anything on any type of social media so yeah you know <laughs> it was a lot of music a lot of content there so they decided you know what we're gonna just take your page and you know not give you some type of appeal or anything like that you know it took me a while to work up 3,000 followers you know and 3,000 is a lot to a person that is a nobody you know if you're a celebrity you like 3,000 that's nothing you know but for you know normal people such as you know myself and you guys watching yeah <laughs> that's a lot that's a lot to build over time, too, because I had my Instagram page for, for quite a while. You know, it wasn't something that I just newly made. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, I can get that 3000 back. Just got to work it off, you know. Promote it and everything like that. But as you guys can see, I will be commenting and, you know, posting things on there. So just in case you guys are wondering, like, is this going to be something that, you know, we're just following for no reason? No, you can actually follow me for a reason. Okay, so we made it to the jungle area. We got some snakes over here. And we picked up a hammer along the way. So where is that? Okay, the warrior hammer. 1.96k in damage. Oh, look at that. I'm actually hitting him from right here. I'm a little distant from him. This is how powerful the hammer is, by the way. <laughs> so we just auto-click this guy. Now, like I said, you know, I feel like the pets do more damage. Because it's more than one, you know, pet coming together to destroy it. See, as I'm not dual wielding any weapons here. This is just one weapon. Whereas we could send a team of three pets and they could just destroy it in one. Just like that. So dope. All right, the only guy left in here. Let's see what he wants. Um, okay, he has an elephant. This is a legendary, 71 million. I have nothing in comparison. That's the best that I can offer him. That's the only two guys I have. Does he want to do that? That's a set backwards for him. Unless he's giving this to me for free. Okay. I thought so. Probably just wanted to flex. He just wanted to be nosy and see what I had. I ain't got much. Yeah. As I was telling you guys about, you know, pet upgrades and stuff like that. Um, That's 
a prime example of, you know, upgrading a pet and sticking with that one particular pet. So that guy has an elephant with 71 million damage. So if I thought I was one-shotting, he is one-shotting beyond the one-shotter. <laughs> so here's another area with 250 diamonds or gems, whatever the currency is called. And if I'm looking through, I can see enemies in here. They look like zombies. Well, it does say zombie on it, but yeah, you can see that there's zombies in there. So that's pretty cool. You got all of these main areas here, and then you have all these, uh, you know, exterior <laughs> areas <laughs> in which we have to unlock them. It's going to be tough. But guys, I'm going to end it off here at the jungle. The next area is going to cost me 20 million. I know you guys are not going to want to stick around and watch me try to grind for 20 million because that's going to be another 20 minutes of a video for you guys to watch but um if you have enjoyed this first video and want to see more comment down below and make sure you give me that like goal i am asking for five likes so invite four other friends plus yourself that'll give me the five likes that i need on the video and be sure to subscribe right now to the channel if you guys are new this game is called pet fighting simulator a link can be found in my description box let me know your personal thoughts and opinions on the game it's very similar to pet simulator x it's very similar to pet legends very similar to you know all of those anime fighting games where you know the concept of what you're supposed to do in a game is what gives it that familiarity you know what i mean but i enjoyed it you know um i spent some robux here as you guys just saw on the boost but you don't necessarily have to spend a dime in here there's free trading so even if you are a lazy player you could ask a nice player or a youtuber for a free pet in the game and that'll get you your jump start um there's daily rewards you know for logging into the game there's uh, milestones that will give you guys codes for boosts and everything like that. So it's pretty, pretty, um, pretty straightforward and standard here in the game. There's a Discord server that's attached to it. They do giveaways for the game in there as well. I saw a giveaway earlier today. And, you know, this is just the start of something new here. Just in case if Pet Simulator X is forever known as a canceled game. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Huge shout-outs to the dev team, and huge shout-outs to you guys watching. Peace.